Right, so we've got uh, Steve here. Steve, last meeting day, just a bit of an opener, really, for the, the DVD. You must be looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but it's just hitting home now. It's, it's going to be my last, this is the last day. But um, to see all the cars here today, it's, you know, it's just a, a credit to them. They've spent thousands of, thousands of pounds just to come here. And the hours they've spent in the garage, you know, I've had people coming up to me saying, my, my wife hasn't even spoke to me for a week. <laughs> so I'm getting blamed for that as well. Um, for the for the DVD, um, that's literally just turned one o'clock as we're doing this interview, and there's over 70 cars in the pits already. That's, that's not a bad shout, is it? That shows you what sort of commitment people have got. I was there in my yard at nine o'clock this morning for a nighttime meeting. Yeah, it's just you know it's it's it's, it's mad, you know. And the big screens here now. There's some quality cars out there. Is any that stand out for you, or is it just a case of looking around in amazement? Yeah, I, to be honest, I haven't really had a lot of time to, to look around, but from what I've seen, there's some quality cars out there. You know, there's a few, you know, there's the Westminsters, and there's the new stuff, and there's a lot of big Yanks out there. It's going to be good.
Any uh, any drivers out there that you're hoping your pass cross today to give one last blast to? Well, Andy Holmes has just turned up, so that'd be that'd be nice because <laughs> his brother's not here. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine that would be quite handy, but that could be quite interesting between you and Steve Bridge today. Yeah, I hope we get it on. Yeah, they've they've got a good field of cars. They probably got at least ten, and we we you know we can match that. So you know we'll bring it on with them. And you always got me wearing a Dutch and Irish because I seem to just like getting on with anybody. Oh, they're just mad, aren't they? <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> I think we see it earlier and they all come in in their floods and everyone's smiling. Hopefully the weather stays on our side. It's meant to, which is brilliant, especially on a day like today because it, it means a lot to everyone to do it. Yeah, it does. The weather forecast is, you know, it was talking of rain this morning and it hasn't rained. I think it's going to be overcast, but if you get a little spell, it'll keep all the dust down, won't it? That's it. I'll tell you what, Steve, you can have a career as a weatherman after this. But, <laughs> but um, how far are you hoping to get with the cars? If I do if I do a better lap, I'll be happy with that, I think. <laughs> and then <it's laughs> have a nice beer and uh, chill out and watch it the rest of it. Oh, I can't have, an I can't have another beer. Not after last <laughs> night. That was a decent night last night. Some interesting images floating about. Yeah, it was a, de it was a decent <laughs> night last night. I'm lucky I come away from the pub when I did. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, um, but... Just like as a closing thing, as we we'll get get some interviews with everyone else uh, for the DVD. But you know, last meeting it must mean a lot to be here today. It does, yeah, yeah. It's say, see, I'm, I feel a bit emotional when I'm talking about it, which is, seems stupid because it's only a, it's only a sport. But it's my last day, and I just hope it all goes well for everybody, really. You know, and a career in television after this as well, after yesterday. Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyway, Steve, I'll let you get on, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure being involved in it, and uh, I do wish you all the best for today. I hope it's going to be an absolute cracker. Yeah, it will be. It will be. <laughs> right, OK, then. We're with Pee Wee for the uh, DVD for the Extinction meeting. Pee Wee, another classic car. Um, I know you get on really well with Steve. You took him over to Holland recently, didn't you, to race? Yeah, I built him uh, last year. I built him at the Toyota Grand for the, uh, the race at Eminem uh, Speedway. And he uh, enjoyed himself, didn't he? I think uh, a lot of the boys in the programme have said that it was one of the most memorable moments of his career so far. Being so late in his career must be special for you too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, he's a legend in all ways of the sport, I think. Yeah, you can't think of a better driver of him. So building a car for him was good to do. And he said he enjoyed it. He had good heat, so it was brilliant to do. I know a couple of years ago uh, we did an interview for the Icebreaker DVD with yourself and you said you and the boys enjoy racing over here but today there must be an extra special uh, feeling in your heart for today as well. Yeah definitely this meeting I couldn't miss this meeting I mean it's yeah, just for Steve you have to be here it's, uh, yeah it's just for him and, and yeah a, a great meeting lots of great cars brilliant cars so what else do you want? And I'd imagine big car big crashes I hope, I hope I do my best. I don't promise you anything, but I do my best. And just explain to us about the car, because it's absolutely stunning. It's a Cadillac Fleetwood Imperial Limousine from 1950. So, it's big. <laughs> yeah, old. Um, and just the final thing, have you got any messages uh, for Steve that's going to go on a DVD, just for him to keep watching and looking back on and just remind himself of the day? Yeah, well, definitely, Steve. I hope you enjoy your meeting. I really hope you have a great day. And I still have the memory of you dancing with my three-year-old daughter in my living room. It was brilliant, Steve. Is he a good dancer? No, totally not. <laughs> well, thank you, Pee. It's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Enjoy the day. And uh, we look forward to seeing you out on track later. Right, OK. Um, obviously, now with Ben Gibson, superstar driver. Dan Stacey, don't race that often, but he's looking forward to today. Just your thoughts and feelings, obviously on a massive day, uh, I do believe it, about 2 o'clock time, and there's over 100 cars in the pits for a big banger meeting. That's uh, a special uh, number for a special man. Well, yeah, it's great that so many drivers respect Steve and come here to show the support to him after so many years racing, really. It's brilliant. And it must be exciting for you because, obviously, the car looks absolutely awesome. You've not had too much real wheel drive experience yourself, but you know what today's all about, Ben. Yeah, not had too much experience racing wise, but I think it's just it the first thing you see really in it today. And that is something that you uh, wanted to do at the start of the year anyway, isn't it? You uh, you were saying that you were gonna have a go at crashing this year. Yeah, we'll see what happens, won't we? <laughs> Hopefully there'll be a nice bit of soft tin sat there. <laughs> but obviously you've had some great memories of Steve racing growing up and even in the modern era he's been absolutely superb to watch. Yeah, I mean, I've always watched him, even as a kid before I raced, and he was one of the people that you just looked up to, really. Um, builds his cars amazingly. Just brilliant racer all round, really. And Dan, I suppose, great to see you out here today in the car. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, quite a bit. I think I'm going to spin myself out most of the night, but it's here for Steve, aren't we? So. 
and obviously from a different aspect, obviously as a fan and a photographer as well for the for the um, website, I must be superb to be out paying back in a in a way like this as well. Yeah, well, we follow Steve for quite a few years now. I've always liked him since right when I was really young. So it's just nice to be able to come and race alongside him, sort of thing, for his last go. And um, obviously, uh, you do realise that you're in Ben's brother's number today. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sure they'll get me anyway. <laughs> ben, what's your take on that? Well, there can only be one free and I know really, can't there? And it can, but you may get your opportunity done at the end of the straight at some point. I don't think I'd want to hit that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good though. It's good that, you know, a couple of hours before the meeting we can have laughs like this and, you know, it's just all part of Bangor Race. That's what we're in it for. Yeah, you know, it's just not just about racing. It's about having fun and socialising and just enjoying yourself. You know, as long as you're here and you're having fun, that's all it's all about. So here we go then. Uh, Steve Hemmings, Psycho Extinction, last meeting, Spud, your general thoughts, mate. The car looks great. Yeah, it's took its time, but I'm well impressed with it. It's been a while, hasn't it, since uh, you've bought the car. Just explain how long ago it was, because it's been over a year now. Yeah, yeah, around a year ago I bought it now. So took six weeks to build. A lot of night, late nights, welding, floors, pillars, and bulkhead. And you've got a, uh, a bit of a running feud with people who um, are just buying the DVD today. You've got a bit of a feud with the Predators going on anyway, so it should be interesting for you. That'd be lively. <laughs> Keep it going. Anyone's in the Preds that you're after, it'd be good to see uh, the last man who <laughs> blings turning up. <laughs> He's past. The, um, there we go. That, that was bling also in action today, but you've got a bit of a running rivalry with the Preds. How much would it be to be the last one who blows up Steve on the day? That'd be good to get him in the day. If it's crawling in the day, they'd love it. But, but you work with him anyway, don't you? So it's not bad. A little bit banter back at work. Yeah, he loves it at work as well. <laughs> you got your brother out there today. When you're both out there, and then limit is it gets quite lively. Uh, I'd imagine you'll both be after all bit in separate heats today. Maybe it'd be good to get out there in one heat and have a go at the Preds. Yeah, it'd be good to get out with them all and just have a good crash with them. It's always good to see you uh, smiling, and uh, I'd imagine there'd be one or two more Preds than others that you wouldn't mind having a piece of today. Yeah, it's got me eye on the food, I owe people. So it's but a list you, in there. There's a list in there. But your general thoughts on today, it should be a cracker. Uh, over 100 cars out there already on a meeting like today is unbelievable. Yeah, some impressive stuff out there. So if the weather holds off, it should be good. Well, there we go. Uh, Spud there, he's going to be in action today. Always got something impressive here at the Norfolk Arena, but this just a little bit more so. So uh, we wish Spud the best of luck in action here at Extinction today. Ian, it's been a while, mate, but uh, I'd imagine you're looking forward to today. You look like you are. Yeah, it's going to be different. Like I say, it's a long while since I've done it, um, but you all got to go and have a go, ain't you? I've got to see how I get on. It'll be a laugh. He's <laughs> looking forward to getting out there with some of the older boys and some of the new generation to teach him a thing or two. Uh, these young'uns are a lot different to what I race, so we'll see how it goes. Like I say, they all build their cars a lot different to what I do, so hopefully they can snap me off fairly quickly <laughs> with a bit of luck. Looking forward to racing sort of a bit different than what you're used to anyway, and uh, on a, well, you've done a great job on it. Well, I'd like to say th thank you, Joby, really, and everybody else has helped me, like Steve, Lester, Free, same people like that, for lending me bits and getting me out there, which is really good on them, really. And, of course, you must have some cracking memories of racing with uh, Steve. Oh yeah, yeah, I've had several good, good, good meetings with Steve. Seriously, neck breakers, some proper good meetings. Be good, very good. And just talk us through one or two of them, because there have been some efforts, haven't there? I tell you, I don't think your video's long enough for this. <laughs> like I say, we went down to Hennesford, um, I had a great day there. Uh, they went to Stinkbridge, I went as a predator. Um, I won at the end of the day, so we had a good day out. Um, all over really, wherever I went, it's always been a laugh and I always come home wrecked, didn't I? <laughs> cars never. <laughs> and um, in a way it is sad to see the axe come down finally, but it, it looks like in the pits it's uh, a fitting tribute to a, a great man's career. My bonnet says it all. You look at my bonnet, that says it all. That's all you have to do. We'll have a look uh, in a minute, I'm sure Nick will get, get the camera on it, he probably has already, but um, I don't, is it the last time we'll see you as well? No telling. I did. I've dug some. I did dig some crap out the stinging nettles the other day. So reflamed a few little things. I might have another little bash. And today might bring uh, back the bug. You never know. Nah, I wouldn't bring back the bug. But I might have a go just for a little appearance here and there. Getting old now, and 
I don't know about that, but um, well, Dil, absolute pleasure. I wish you all the best for today, and uh, there we go, Ian. Absolutely. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's good to see a good turnout. At least the lads come together, nice paint jobs, and just put the time and effort in for him, what he deserves. Munch, you're looking a little bit nervous, mate. Yep, you could say that. Uh, it's, been <laughs> it's been a long road, mate, isn't it? It's been over a year in the planning. We're finally here, a couple of hours around the corner. Is it all starting to sink in? Yeah, it is really. It's, I can't believe how quick it's come round. To be fair, it's going to be it's going to be epic. To be, I think the day for the period is going to have a, a lot of memories and probably ones that will stick with you for the rest of your lives. Yeah, you're probably right. Hopefully, big air time would be nice, but obviously, obviously it's Steve followed him in caged. <laughs> obviously, it's Steve's last <laughs> meeting as well, so that'll, that'll live in our minds forever, I should imagine. Jay, once you get over the hangover, mate, I'm sure that will come once you get out on track. We know what you can do. Uh, you've had a race win and an entertainer's trophy all in one race, so uh, more of the same today? Uh, I hope so. I don't ever plan nothing. It just if it happens, it happens. If they're there, I'll do it. If they're not, I can't. But your memories of Steve must, must go back a long way as well. We did the interview and it, uh, it was good a couple of weeks ago in the programme today, but there must be some fond memories out there. Yeah, I mean, just go watch him at Swatham, and I was sort of yay big, snotty nose, thinking, I want to be a banger driver. And then, sort of 15 years down the line, here I am, racing alongside him, luckily enough. <laughs> in the biggest meeting, well, I mean, a lot of people are saying in the pits, like, they can't believe how much tin's here, how much quality's here. Is that what's took you back today as well? Well, the tin here is, like, is phenomenal, really. There's... I, it's great to see everyone's put the time and effort into, well, for Steve really. And um, like you say, the meeting is just going to be top notch. It's going to be a good day. I ain't going for no one pound fifty winning money, but entertainer award would be nice. Not even a fifty p for a third place. I don't think the Volvo will be going that long. <laughs> 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 you but got a Mars bar nowadays for fifty p. But it was a great idea. Me and Steve come up with that, so. It's, everyone's here for one thing and let's be having it Let it, let's be having it indeed and we couldn't have had an interview uh, Jay without Munch telling how much he's had a part of playing it well if there's any problems give him a call <laughs> <laughs> any last uh, any last messages for Steve on the DVD um, good luck in your retirement you better not hide up in the house now you better be down helping us after we've helped you all these years after 20 years, it's time for the OAP to collect his pension. <laughs> there you go. That's what two of the mainstream predators really think of their teammate. But thanks to Munch and Jay for their time. Uh, they've been good boys throughout it all. And last night, I think Jay's just going to go get a couple of hours sleep before the main meeting itself. <laughs> Thank you. 
in the wrong way, that is. Wimps goes up around the outside in 2.52. One of the last two bananas. The little chief has got around in the silver spur limo. Oh, 2.18. Now house goes in there. The 363 Trimmer nails a 2.8 powerhouse. So Trimmer uh, here with a hit there and uh, 2.8. Once again, uh, sorting it in that south end in this one. So 549 Philip Smith goes in uh, with the shot that turns around then uh, Colin Trucent in the 15 machine. Hootie so in the 300C gets blown up big time by Squirt. So big, big damage there for the Dancer. Quite more the going in through the back wheel, but Hootie still runs. 166 there going in as well. And so does Kieran McCoy though. So big, big damage there. Philip Smith going in there as well as 8-11 Winter. Takes around at the 166 machine. So 148 it is Shorty yet who leads the way as in through the back wheel goes Munch in 779. On the 315 machine of Sherlock, 549 Philip Smith absolutely destroys the old crowd there. Squirt bailing out of it, but our leader goes through. 148 Shorty it is at the head of the field. Fat has set in 16, and another of the uh, Datsun 300 C's goes uh, spinning around down at the top end. Three to run next time, and Mr. Starter. 148 Shorty still leads the way in heat one here at Extinction. Three Trummer there attacking the 801 Jack Foster. 148 Shorty uh, having to go there and turn back us in the 16 uh, as well. Takes him wide down into the turn there. Baby Pack races on in 160. Back us straight down once again and then. That's a there, Stacey uh, 390 attacking the uh, 166 car and gets caught up on the front of the Intimidator and takes himself out. Still circulating then uh, for the Predators. Fagas uh, has blown a hose in a big way in 16. Throws on the wall around uh, of that car. Meanwhile, Mr. Starner awaits with the first check and flag of the day here at the North Arena. Trummer uh, with the attack on 176 uh, Gibbs. 180 Sparky limping on with the wheel back on the Volvo, but it's 148 Shorty who takes the win for the first one of the afternoon. Shorty winning it then. 166 still running as we reach the end of that one. And 811 win to get on with 180 Sparky out there as well. So uh, we'll be 166 finishing. 811 Foster makes it home as the 325 breaks. 811 then win to go in for the attack there. And then uh, through they come, Mr. Starr. It's Reds, please, on the race way. We go, Reds. Volvo and Jaguar stable. 
760 limo out there for eight to one. Ashley Bell and 748 Graham Kittle. And Psycho takes his place on the first race of the day. We go green and touch a time with heat number two. 920 Betty takes out 512 Jackson right at the beginning of 602. Shovel Net Cooper runs in at 22. 38 Tom Chill nails at 925 Prince down there as well. And 400 uh, Shinny there blows up at 81. That Ash Bell at the back of 602 Cooper. Oh, and a big shot there. Carl Shires goes in. He goes in large on Tom Chill. Tommy got in there. 260 Keithy joins in on Shires. Oh, and here comes Cooper on 260. Psycho in the back. And he mounts uh, in that 884, comes in from 155, Mr. Demolition as well in the middle of that lot. Oh, and another hit shot as Jack Star comes in and uh, destroys 602, Shay, uh, Sean Cooper down there. So Mr. Misery, uh, Mr. Axel moved. Polly Reed, a spinner then down there, Psycho backs out and continues in the 401 Jack. It is Big Al who leads the way. Big Al for Team B goes through out of that race leader. And down the back straight, 401 Psycho's on the back of Ashley Bell in 81, runs in down there. And he's coming all the way around to the pile. Oh, and in they come again. 513. Shaggy there, blowing up for 81, Ashley Bell there as well. Any more and for any more in that lot, Big Alley 266 out, race leader coming back through. 920 Medley is right behind him in second place, Shane Windsor is third in 160. Those are places on that one. Leader's gone. And the leader is gone. The leader taken around there. It's 920 James Medley who takes it up. So 920 Medley leading the way now from 160 Winter. Which of the two of them is going to take uh, the spoils of victory in this one? Spoils the victory they're called, but we're certainly not spoiling them for a win today. Medley and Winter, your top two then. Cooper bails out in 6.02. It's three to run next time, Mr. Starter. Three next time round. Shitty still circulating out there in the 400 machine. 155, Mr. Demolition, Craig Boyle rejoining the action. Finbar still circulates in his uh, pretty Series 2 XJ. Polly Reed then uh, in uh, with the bumper and takes out 360 Jackstar. Big Al racing on. Shinny uh, still circulating well in form of Mr. Demolition with problems once more. From Volvo 9 Net Series there. Back through then, last lap time for 920 Medley and 160 Winter. And I think James Medley has just about got the measure of uh, his uh, Norfolk based opponent. Medley down the back straight for the final time. Oh, Windsor going in though. Takes a uh, dive into the corner, but can't quite make it work. And it's going to be James Medley who takes the victory in heat number two for the Unlimited Maggots. And Medley there runs in at 400 uh, Shinny as well. So Shinny uh, picking up some damage late uh, in proceedings. And here comes Polly Reed. Polly Reed with a cheeky shot uh, on the aftermath star. Around 
and uh, they come though uh, and they are both going to make it to the finish. Back to more, Mr. Starr. It's Rex, please.
Checkered uh, with last car running uh, as number 18, Jamie Clayton uh, on an epic heat number four.
Cooper are getting uh, on the way safely. It's Troopster who leads the way that he wants, 0 1. Down into the turn, 40. Wanagher has gone in there to 0 0 7. Lane for still buries uh, 100 dead cock in there. And in goes the pile, two by four, the target on there. 840 warning at 450 plants on four on four. And 7920 blows up two, three, six, nine, eight. So it's coming in, it's one of the 89 Pandora also coming in there on there. Then it's 571 Quincy, 560 in there, 8247. One 74 Osborne and Nate gets blown up by Wilco. 266 on John Burr on the the uh, 498 car, and we've got Paul still joining in there. So, epic, epic scene set down here on the home straight with a massive uh, Norfolk Arena record train. Down that train, 128 to Monty. Uh, Takes out the uh, 280 machine of Quinny. 007 Dangerous still uh, going out. And who else uh, down there? Monty gets run through the par line. Uh, 451 Lee Blackwell. 101 Ned Shrew still in his set. Chasing on after 730 uh, Dino Mays. So D Mays leading in 730 from class. Truce in 101. But Truce there goes in and uh, takes him around. And he's in on the nose for 157 Piglet there on that 730 Dino as well, 399 Johnny uh, also uh, getting involved there as they scramble to rejoin. Meanwhile, 209 Waller has now blown up uh, 280 Quinny. Truce going through and we have up 101. Dangerous still out of it on Pandola. there on the uh, back axle then for Spook in 404. Piglet uh, trying to get back into it and he gets nailed by uh, 515 flats. Back in at three double line, Johnny Atkin now getting back into the action as well. Knuckles, uh, by the looks of it, has broken uh, the uh, Lexus in 519, so uh, pulls up to a halt down here. Oh, more action there, 267 now, French does so, 157 Piglet, 47 Davies uh, with a big shot uh, to uh, 267 French. French is still trying to get back into it, and then one follow Wagner. And it's 99 Richie Ahern who now goes through into the lead as Truce goes out with 515 flatters. Stolen that in the last moments. 
So we'll get uh, the rest of the drivers uh, coming through. Oh, with the finishing post on that. Another awesome, awesome heat here in the Limited Bangers heat number five. That's all, Mr. Starr. Thank you. We go, Reds. Completed into the lap uh, will be uh, a declared race. Uh, we go red checkered on consolation number one.
celebration number two for Melissa Baggins. Drama is right again. the beginning. Baggins getting the knotted up with that one. Martin Jim Dillon that head stayed back as uh, in the number one machine. Berry's uh, seven by one spot. So going in huge there and uh, 125 more increasing on the nose uh, of the Aston. 34 for uh, Wobby uh, doing that Maurice hard in turn. Oh, Wacko getting that uh, caught up in there.
huge, huge moment as we get underway with a big race of the night. 18 batting and early air drops here on the home straight. He gets blown up by the 920 medley. 399 Johnny Atkinder, an early victim, and uh, the launch. Dave Beckers has blown up uh, 601 Bling. A uh, missed shot there coming in uh, from uh, one of the friends at 401 side back going in there uh, through the back wheel of Stade Beckers in the number one machine. And it's 474 Matty Frell going in there. It's uh, 401 Psycho 18 uh, Batty uh, going up on 474 there. And 390 Gibson uh, in through the front wheel of Matty Frell. 920 uh, Jones Medley nails uh, 0 1. Kyle Shires in the back of it. Shorty on that 89 Panda for the big burial down there on the right side turn. Panda uh, shaking it off though and uh, race is on.
standing through the front wheel of that 43 out all. By one class chose step with the big damage as well. So 17 Kylo Rea nails up 185 Polly Reed over there on the roadside turn once again. So big bugs there, what's that for? Rath that goes in. Now we've got the final one match over uh, over the uh, top uh, there of the uh, 8 and 11 for Kyle into red uh, flag situation. We start red flag uh, situation. that takes around uh, 100 uh, Callum White. So Collingford uh, struggling now to uh, escape from what's going on over there. 100 uh, Callum making his way uh, back around. And by the looks of it, uh, he is going to be uh, the last car running. So it's red and checkered. Uh, 100 Callum White uh, wins 
so comes number one as the last cut running. on the uh, circuit then uh, with a roller down there in the uh, turn and it will be a complete restart on this one now all colours at number two so we get back to the action on this one limited bangers all colours race number two Jack Foster Jr. Rowe getting back in the running now in 
27 Freese in that 925 goes around. So through they go, the lap ball's now showing an extreme two chubby for 148 shorty. Also uh, going in there. And he 
takes Blobby into that part. 157 Peglin B1 goes in with a big shot on 32 small. And here comes 273. Matt Mouse, where is he headed for? Mouse goes in with a big shot on Peglet. Still working in there with 273 mounts, just pinning in that there against 476 Roscoe. Danny Dunn uh, tramping his way down the back straight with the P5. And he gets another shot in on the 401 machine. Is uh, Steve going to come back from that? We ask ourselves. Meantime, 926 Crewman's goes in on the nose of Roscoe in 476. 811 Kieran McKay makes his way out of the pile. 180 Sparky desperately trying to break free of his place down there in that turn as well. And Matty Threlkel trying to come out of that lot as well. 32 small going in uh, through the back wheel of 385 Drucker. And here comes uh, Kieran McIver. Huge shot through the back end of 476 Roscoe. So 501 Basher now uh, comes out of the pile as 811 McIver meets in a meaty head on with 469 Scally. So big, uh, big dramas then for 811, uh, McIver and 469, Mike Scally. And Basher now coming around down the back straight. And Basher goes in with a big shot on Scally. So, 32 small now, uh, comes out of the pile. So is Matty Threlkeld. Matty escapes from the hill. situation, Mr. Star, we have a red flag situation down there. So, Red's out, so uh, Matty uh, getting the chance to see uh, any of that. And he's in with the front wheel uh, on that 32 uh, max ball there. Uh, drivers. So, 474, Matty. And it's a grandstand shot on the 295, Danny Dunn down here on the home straight. Basher in 501 decides that that just looks a little bit too firm for his liking. And Matty seemingly stuck now. So Basher coming back around and he goes in on the nose of Matty. And now trying to uh, back out so over there as well. Is anybody else left running in this one now? There's a certain bloke still working uh, over there. And it's a huge one through the back wheel for Basher from 474, Matty Threlkeld. <laughs> and still Basher trying gamely uh, to continue out there, 252. Griffiths uh, still on the move down there in the pile, and so is 401, Steve Hemmings.
been signalling at the I.O. cut down there. And that is truly a huge, huge wreck out there now. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, we have now got a red checkered. That was extinction. I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! 
It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me